Good people, welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. The entirety of PDP are really coming after a bonus state APC due to the court order that was issued by Justice Inyang Ekwo that uh, a bonus state governor has been sacked. And PDP, she substitutes the governor and the deputy with a new governor designate. And uh, right now, uh, as of yesterday, the person of uh, um, Governor Wiki has spoken. And he's very emphatic that PDP will do everything within their power to ensure that they kick him out of that position based on the provision of the court order. But right now, you're going to hear the standpoint of um, PDP uh, in Ebony State and what they are asking INEC to do. We're going to be looking at these full details in a GFI. But before we do that, if you've not subscribed, kindly hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos. The People Democratic Party PDP on Sunday urged the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC to issue certificate of return to its nominated candidate for the position of governor and deputy in Ebony State without further delay. It has been reported that the Federal High Court in Abuja last week ordered Governor Dave Umayi of Ebony State to vacate his seat for defecting to the All Progressive Congress APC. The PDP immediately complied with the judgment by submitting fresh names to the INIC as governor and deputy. The party nominated Honorable Idoma Ewu Igariwe as a replacement for Governor Umayi and Fred Udeogu as replacement of the deputy governor. Addressing a press conference in Enugu, the chairman of the PDP in Ebony State, Honorable Tuchuku Okorie, called on the INEC to immediately issue certificate of return to the two nominees. Okorio, who described Umayi as a former governor, accused him of plotting a massive clampdown on members of the opposition party in the state. The PDP chairman said that by the operation of the law, Governor Umayi and his deputy and the 16 lawmakers effectively resigned their position, perhaps in pursuit of loftier political objective. The battle to restore the, or rescue the state from tyranny and oppression has only just begun and we must all brace up to confront the evil and nazistic element in the land headlong. While condemning Governor Omai's reaction to the judgment, Okoria said that the people of Ebony State have long moved on and can no longer be taken on board his deceptive role roller coaster. According to him, he said, for the violence of doubt, the national leadership of our great party has long complied with the ruling of the court by submitting Right Honorable Engu Eduma Ihariwe and Chief Fred Udogu to the Independent National Electoral Commissioner as replacement for Umayi and his deputy. We have also ensured that the judgment and other records of the court were transmitted to the commission too. What is standing, therefore, between the inauguration of the new administration of the Ex Excellencies, the Governor and Deputy Governor designate at the moment, is INEC to issue them with their certificate of return in compliance with the ruling of the court. We urge the Commission to act expeditiously in this regard. We urge Ndi Ebony to remain calm even in the face of continued brazen provocation and continue to discountenance the ch chicanery of these lawless crew. There will soon be history. Ndiyeboni should note that ex-governor Umayi of the declaratory order oh, sorry, I'll take that again. Say there will soon be history. Ndiyeboni should note that ex-governor ex Umayi has neither been granted any stay of execution of the declaratory order of the court, nor has he successfully appealed the judgment. All he has done is to apply for stay of execution and file a notice of appeal, neither of which can act as a stay of execution. Similarly, the different court papers emanating from same state high court cannot and do not confer any imprimatur of a stay of execution. He alerted the people of a bonnie state and all security agencies of the commencement of a long-planned plot of physically eliminating leaders and known 
opposition voices of Ebony PDP. He said last night, in what appears to be the commencement of that evil plot, the resident of Comrade Abia Onyeka was attacked, leaving marks of horror. This happened within a day of his appearance in a live television program to criticize the disgraceful conduct of Umayi in attacking the judiciary. We do not know who is next. The lives of our leaders are now in the hands of Umayi, who should be held responsible should anything untoward happen to any of them, since we are not about to abandon the tax at hand. Mm. Man, this is going to be very serious. This case, at first when it came up, it was as if um, it's not going to be serious. But from all indication, it is going beyond what Nigerians thought it was going to be. Don't forget that uh, so many people came out to castigate uh, justice um, in Yang Ekwo, that uh, his judgment was really out of context. and It was out of, it wasn't what was expected and all of that. But, you know, being that uh, the man is in charge of a court of competent jurisdiction, whatever pronouncement he made has stood the test of time. And right now, I think people are running out that skill, especially in APC, to ensure that the Ebony State does not slip out of their hand. Yesterday, we saw what uh, the governor of uh, River State, uh, Nisom Wike, said, and he is standing his ground. And from all indication, it seems all the um, key stakeholders in PDP are standing their ground to ensure that the Ebony State governor obeys the court order. He said he has gotten a stay in uh, a stay of execution. But, but from all indication, based on what some legal experts have said, they said what he has gotten cannot help keep him there. And why I believe that there's so much chaos in Ebony State is the fact that the Ebony State PDP chairman is talking all of what he's saying from Enugu State. <laughs> That's to show you that the man has... I mean run for safety that's just the truth because according to the info on media then was that uh, very soon that ebony state is going to be very hot for all the pdp stalwart and i think it has already started if you listen to the news very well to the end you m would have noticed that uh, someone was attacked because of the statement he made on live television about um, the attitude and uh, the way of life of uh, um, Ebony State Governor towards the justice who passed the case or who passes the judicial precedence against him. And right now, it's not easy. I mean, I don't know what um, Ebony State Governor intends to do, but I feel that the people who will put all of this to rest is INIC. INIC really needs to start talking right now because if they don't speak out automatically that particular state will continue to be in turmoil you understand now the reason why i'm saying this is because the last time uh, i think we consulted about this whole issue what they told nigerians was that they have not gotten the documentary of the judgment and for that reason they cannot act otherwise you understand? So right now, according to the PDP, everything has been forwarded to them, even with the names of two persons who are called them governors de designated. And you won't be wrong, governors are governor and governor, uh, deputy governor designated. Mm -hmm. They have been sent to Umayi, but Umayi, sorry, to INEC. INEC has not responded ever then. And I feel that they are the ones to put this issue at rest. And also, I don't know what um, uh, Bonny State Governor is doing because he had told Nigerians then that he had appealed the case. We're still waiting to hear more feedback, mostly from INIC. INIC is what people are really waiting for. We'd like to leave it. They go to our comment section. What's your standpoint now that the entirety of PDP are waking up to ensure the enforcement of this court case, a court order against a Bonny State Governor? Let's interrupt in our.